these triple deckers that you can see the front of. Um, they're on the National Historic Register. They're there for a couple of reasons. One is Providence never had a big fire that burned down the housing stock that's this age, kind of all built in 1890 to about 1915, kind of most of it. And then the <clears throat> second thing is um, just the type of housing it is, triple deckers, so you can fit three families in in three different apartments. When it was built, it would have mostly been like a small business owner owned the building, they lived on a floor, they rented or gave a floor to one of their siblings and their family. And then, you know, the parents, somebody's parents lived upstairs or maybe the uh, somebody worked in your business rented from you. Very tiny yards. Uh, most of them had outhouses at the time they were built. No place to park a car because everybody walked to work um, or there used to be a trolley system that you could jump onto doesn't exist anymore. These houses are mostly built on lots that are 2,500 to 3,500 square feet. And sometimes on a 4,000 square foot lot, there'll be two or three buildings. And um, right now, by uh, the way zoning is set up, the minimum house lot in a residential area is about 5,000 square feet, to give you a sense. Um, the other thing to imagine on this street, which looks pretty harsh in some ways because of the hardness of the buildings and the hardness of the streetscape, is imagine this in maybe 1950 um, as completely canopied by huge trees as far as you could see. And those trees, they clean the air, they provide um, shade that keeps the temperature down by about 10 degrees and have a lot of other health benefits. And one of the ways that um, <coughs> foresters and people looking at social indicators of health evaluate neighborhoods and urban areas is they just fly over and look at tree canopy and tree canopy is an almost um, entirely accurate predictor of economic situation of a neighborhood and a lot of the public health concerns in a neighborhood. You know it's a crude indicator but a really useful one.